Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, ETFs, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 24, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. So we did rally on Thursday, tried to rally on Friday, and got close to the 20 exponential, and then bank to the downside. So this is not a very good sign for uh, this ETF that we technically didn't even get close to the 20 exponential and then be pulled back. Technical indicators do favor the upside. This has been an ETF that has been absolutely battered um, the last, well, since February when we hit the all-time highs here at 160. It went all the way down towards uh, 97 and now we have recovered towards uh, 105. So still we are down in this ETF roughly 33.7%. Uh, so in, well, roughly uh, only a few months' time. That's, that's very ridiculous. But but this has also been an ETF that has, uh, that did rally significantly from the bottom of the of this crisis all the way to the top. That's roughly 350 points to the upside. So pullback was always expected as these, um, most of these stocks are very, very... Um, well, very overvalued and overbought, to be fair honest. But if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD crossed the signal line, becoming bullish. The RSI is bullish. CCI is still uh, starting to become bullish. And thus, uh, Stochastic is also bullish. If we manage to break above the middle of the bullish band here, which is, at this point, looking fairly unlikely. So uh, this shows one picture of this turning around. And these indicators are showing uh, a sign of recovery. So... It is uh, a mixed bag of, of signals that we are basically getting here. So we could head towards the top of the bullish band and then break back down towards the 300 moving average. Or we it can happen what these indicators are in, uh, showing that we are basically going to test the 200 moving average 50 and then continue higher. So it is to be seen on Monday what basically happens here. So let's look at DVI. So DVI did rally up towards uh, 122 and then gave most of those gains back. Now we're 121, um, so not a lot of movement. We're still holding uh, above the 20 exponential, right above here in the bullish band. So this, uh, if we manage to break above, uh, underneath the uh, middle of the bullish band, then we could head towards 117. Rallies from here will mostly find a major uh, resistance at 124. Technical indicators do favor the downside. MACD is bearish, CCI is bearish, uh, RSI is bearish, RSI, CCI is also becoming bearish, and the stochastic is also bearish. So let's look at VTI. So this rallied up towards 216 and ended at 214. So yes, market wasn't really um, into going back towards its all-time highs, um, but technical indicators here, they are also very mixed. MACD is uh, basically becoming flat and uh, looks like it's going to recover and become bullish again. The RSI is flat, CCI is flat, stochastic is bullish, and we are just underneath the middle of the bullish band. So if we were to break down from here, then we'll most likely find major support down at uh, 211. And if we manage to rally from here, we'll most likely find major resistance at 220, which is also they're very close to the all-time highs back here in late April. So let's look at MCHI. So MCHI, well, rallied up towards the 200 moving average and then just absolutely trashed it on Friday. So down 0, 1.5%, give or take. So at this point, it looks like we are going to head back towards the 300 moving average. That's a drop. Of roughly 5.2% uh, to the downside, if that uh, should hold. Uh, the last time we uh, went all the way down to uh, seven, uh, 70, uh, yeah, 76, and um, we got very overstretched there, and that's where we started rallying. But getting rejected here at the 200 moving average is not a very good sign. Technical indicators are also starting to turn around. MACD is still bullish in negative territory. RSI is bearish, CCI is flat, stochastic is becoming flat, and it looks like it's going to round off here and go back down. And also here, got rejected at the middle of the bullish band, and now it looks like we could have a drop, give or take, if we go to the same level 
then a drop of 3.43% to the downside. To the upside, if we manage to break above the 200 moving average and the 50, then we could um, get out of this uh, downtrend. But it looks like that is not going to happen at this current stage. So IVV. So IVV rallied to uh, 420 and ended up at the 416. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed at this point. MACD is bearish, as uh, RSI is flat, CGI is flat, stochastic is bullish. And we're right underneath the middle of the bullish band right here. So we could drop towards the bottom. That is a fall of 1.6% to the downside, just above the 50 moving average. That would make sense. And to the upside, we have give or take to 424. That's the uh, all-time highs here and also the top of the bullish band. So there's a rally of roughly 1.9% to the, to the upside. But at this point, in the indicators are very mixed. So hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And uh, good luck and thank you very much.